Hi there, it's Tammy Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like. Today's video is about how to have self-love and self-worth. Without these two elements, it's virtually impossible to be in a healthy relationship. I'm doing this video because I hear beautiful, successful, great women just selling their souls just to be up under anyone. Same with men, buying women, giving out gifts just to have a companion. We do not have to force anything in life, especially love. But the first love we have to have is self-love. We have to look in that mirror and know that we are worthy of the best things in life. And when I say the best things, I'm not talking about diamond rings and furs. I'm talking about being treated like a quality human being. To hear that women are catching men in the bed with another woman and going back to the guy within two, three days, it's just not a good look. You have to look yourself in the mirror and say that I am worthy of love. I am worthy of peace, joy, and most importantly, that you love yourself. If you don't portray that image to the world, good energy and energy that you love yourself, how can you get the love you deserve? How can you give that love? We should never feel desperate or say it beats being alone. Being alone can be great. You can travel. You can start your own business. You can go for long walks. Um, you can get a pet. You can volunteer. You can mentor. You can do so much alone, work out, work on your fitness, learn by meditation, yoga, so many things. And of course, who wants to be alone forever? God made us relational to be with people, but you want to be with quality people. You should not be with people that are putting you down, calling you fat, stupid, ugly, saying you don't matter, you'll never be nothing. You can be great alone. Who needs to be put down? When we're with a partner, a husband, a wife, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, whomever, they should be adding to our happiness, not subtracting from it. When you are in a situation where you are devaluing yourself or where you're allowing someone to make you feel bad, it's time to pause and get out of that situation and really solicit help. And it could be self-help books, it could be these YouTube videos, it can be a therapist, counselor, whomever. But it's time to raise your standards. You don't want to be treated that way. Really think about it. It's humiliating. And more importantly, you can't even look yourself in the mirror. And that person that's treating you bad, they don't respect you. They don't respect themselves. So it's all about knowing your value and your worth. And once you say, I am beautiful, I am great, I am worthy of love, I am worthy of affection, I am a great energy, I am a great being, God created me. When you start saying all these great things about yourself, you will become a believer. Luther Vandross has a song and it's called Make Me a Believer. And it's like the most beautiful song because of his voice and he wants someone to make him a believer in them. He's in love in this song. And that's how you should be. Make yourself a believer that you are worthy of love and you are worthy of great treatment. Whenever you become desperate for something, the result is never good. Whenever you try to force a relationship, a friendship, force someone to hire you, force a business deal, it seems like it doesn't work, right? But when you let go and let it flow, Baby, it comes to you like fine wine. It flows like water. Water is effortless. If you see the flow of water, it's effortless. So that's how you have to be with love. Don't worry. The right guy is coming. Don't you worry. Here she comes for you, the right girl. And my men out there, I don't want you to buy a woman or give her this and give her that, especially when you first meet her. You have to let people... Um, treat you with respect and earn your trust before you just shell out money to try to get them to stay with you, you're better than that. So I hope something I said in my video will make you stop and think. And if you have been in a relationship that has not served you well, it may be time to take a break from that relationship 
and work on yourself. Don't let anyone ever put you down or treat you bad. We all have relationships and we all have arguments and disagreements. That's fine. But when people are hidden below the belt and calling you out your name and dogging you out, cheating on you, lying and abusing you, it's time to hit the door. For them to hit the door and for you to hit the door to yourself and take care of yourself and love yourself and know your worth. Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like for me. And if you do want to have a phone session or a Skype session, my email is twalker at dreamsareality.com and $30 for 30 minutes. Thank you so much. Love yourself. Know your worth. And see you soon. Bye.